Welcome to the Classic Wines Minute, brought to you by ClassicWines.com. I'm your host, Brian Friedman, and I'm joined today by Charles Curtis, Director of Wine and Spirits Education at Moet Hennessy, and by Randy Torbin, one of our team members at ClassicWines.com. Now, a number of you wrote in with uh, burning issues that you have, questions you've been dying to have answered about champagne. Randy's going to be posing them to Charles and I, but before we succumb to the pressure of answering these, I think, Charles, we need to open up a bottle of champagne, show our viewers how you actually open a bottle, how you pour a glass, and maybe that'll help us with those questions a little Great. bit. Great. A little champagne will always help. Right. All right. So all what do we have here? This is the Veuve Clicquot 1988 Rare Vintage. Okay. Now, almost all champagnes have a pull tab near the top. It's important to grab the pull tab, remove the foil, once the foil is off, keep your finger over the top of the cage six and a half turns. Now, two, while he's unturning, three, it's very important four, to keep your finger on top five, of the cage because six, there's as much pressure in there as in a car tire, I believe. There is. There's six atmospheres of pressure. Hold the cage and the cork together. Turn with the other hand. Okay. Just he's, slightly. Press against the cork so it doesn't slip out too quickly. And it should make a sigh just like that. This is a pro. He was aiming that right at me. <laughs> When you're pouring, remember, it's not a glass of beer. You should pour gently and slowly into the middle of the glass. Okay. You're, you're really changing a lot of what most people uh, tend to think about champagne. I mean, usually we're accustomed to the, the big pop when you pull out the cork and foaming the, uh, the glass over. So it really is a much more gentle, subtle process. You want to preserve the freshness of the champagne and the vivacity of the bubbles at any cost. And so you're very gentle with the champagne. Okay. Well, this, uh, this is definitely a great way to start, and I think now we're ready for Randy to uh, for you. begin the Champagne Inquisition. Wonderful. <laughs> the first question is from Mike L. from Atlanta, Georgia. Mike asks, why is it so important to call it champagne? Ah, the truth is that champagne, properly, comes only from the Champagne region of France. It's a delimited area containing 323 villages about 80 kilometers east of Paris. It's made from outside that region, it's sparkling wine, and it's not champagne at all. Okay, well thank you for that answer. The second question is from Zach M. from Philadelphia. Zach asks, are there any foods that are just completely wrong to go with champagne? Ah, if there are, I haven't had them. You know, champagne is one of the most versatile wines out there. You can have it easily with your appetizers, with your main courses such as lamb or fish. You can have it with a cheese course or even with dessert. It's wonderfully versatile, one of the most gastronomic wines on the planet. Excellent. Well, Heather S. from San Diego, California asks, is it really true that you can stop the bubbles from champagne coming out of the bottle by placing a teaspoon on top of it? Ah, well, the truth is, the best solution to a bottle half full of champagne is to drink more. However, if you really can't finish it and you put a spoon in the middle overnight of the neck of the bottle, it will, in fact, retain some of the freshness from the day before. Although the best advice I have to offer is drink up. I agree. Okay, well the next question is from Aaron C. from Morristown, New Jersey, and he wants to know why does it bubble? It's a great question. Uh, and, and no, it's not some poor intern with a straw standing over the tanks out there in France. Uh, basically what happens is when you make wine, uh, the yeast metabolizes the sugar and it produces alcohol as well as carbon dioxide. If you were to actually stand over a fermentation tank, you would see it sort of gurgling away and, and you would actually, the carbon dioxide is wafting off the top into the air. Champagne is put through a secondary fermentation in the bottle. The bottle is sealed, carbon dioxide has nowhere else to go, gets driven back into the wine, voila, champagne. Excellent. Katie H. from Tennessee wants to know, what grapes are champagne made out of? Judging by this rare vintage 88, delicious ones. The real answer is very simple. It's Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier, and Chardonnay, or some combination of one or all three of those. Very good. And the last question comes from Laurie S. from Miami, Florida, who wants to know, can you really savor a bottle to open it? Ah, only if you're very careful. The best way to savor a bottle is to remove the foil and the cage. This bottle has had everything removed. There's a seam on the bottle. You place your thumb on the seam, the saber, or an ordinary kitchen knife along the seam, and you run it very gently up the seam.
Sometimes you need to, whoa! <laughs> I was gonna say sometimes you need to give it a little TLC, but <laughs> clearly you know what you're doing, Charles. It's a great way to start off the party, and notice also that because the champagne was cold enough, all of the wine didn't go flying out of the bottle. Exactly. And that's the trick you were saying, is that it has to be really, really chilled. Exactly. Keep it in the ice until right before you're ready to do your party trick, and you won't have any difficulty. Just make sure no one is standing in the way of the cork. Well, now we have two bottles of champagne open. I think it's time that we get to work on these. Charles, thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Cheers. And Randy, great to have you aboard as well today. Thank you. And I'm Brian Friedman. And remember, you can find all of these wines on ClassicWines.com. Keep your mind open for champagne. Great with food. Great for parties. Wonderful any time of the day, morning or night. From all of us here at Classic Wines, cheers. <laughs>